at the beginning of the semester. I talked about the overall goal for this class, and I want to recap that a little bit since we're getting near the end of the semester. And my claim is the overall goal of your four years studying computer science at an elite university. If you believe the Atlantic and various other sources, you're getting one of the top 10 most valuable degrees in the country, so that's good for its economic value. But the real value you're getting is this deep understanding of how computing systems work. And that's something that by the time you graduate, you should all have. You should feel like everything between the high-level interesting applications like Google or Facebook or anything cool that we do on a computer today, from that down to the level of a transistor, you don't necessarily understand all the details about everything that's going on everywhere between those levels, but there's nothing that should seem like magic. Everything between those steps should be something that you figure that either you already know about it or you figure you could figure it out if you needed to, and you should understand some parts of it well enough that you can start doing magical things yourself, like making a kernel that behaves differently from a standard kernel. So my hope is at this point in the class, we're getting pretty close to having filled in all those gaps. That definitely by the time you finish problem set four, which is Sunday, you should have sort of the first parts of the class really focused more on these gaps. This was more about how do you build a big system that is robust and scales well and performs well. More of what we were doing was at those levels, we were certainly in class doing more at the lower levels. What you should be getting by the end of problem set four is the sense that you've really filled in these two levels. That you pretty much understand everything that's going on to make a program run. So that's my hope. And we have about, I think, six classes or so left in the semester, not counting the ones that you'll do, do demos towards the end of the semester. So what you should be thinking about is if there are any big gaps left in your computing education that need to be filled in in those remaining six classes. So there's one big one that I promise you that I'd talk about already, which is the synchronization primitives. So the day that Leslie Lampart won the Turing Award, we talked about very briefly. The main thing that he did for that was figure out how to do mutual exclusion when you don't have it as a primitive. And you've been doing that. You've been doing it using things built from these. You've been using things like the RW arc and the mutex arc. But you should be pretty curious how those are actually built and how you would build something that can limit access to a resource in this mutually exclusive way unless you start with something that can already do it. So we will talk about that next week. But if there are any other gaps, you should make sure to note them in the comments on the website or email me directly. So we make sure that by the time you finish this class, and for some of you that are fourth years, by the time you finish your degree, that you won't embarrass UVA by having any big gaps in your understanding later on. So not to put any added pressure on you, but you should think about if there are our gaps, either things we haven't covered in this class that we should have or things that you feel like you should know about that you don't.